Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be able to host this meeting of the Fee 4 and the Balkan, uh, Western Balkan states meeting in this format with the presence of the High Representative of the EU for Foreign and Security Policy, Madam Federica Mogherini. This meeting uh, of the Chiefs of uh, Diplomacy of the V4, the group where we are holding the presidency is taking place in the plus format, and we have many people here indeed. We have foreign ministers of uh, the fix six states of the Western Balkans, that is uh, Montenegro, Serbia, Macedonia, Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Kosovo. Some of these countries aspire to be future EU members. And additionally, we have been able to invite several member states from the region, that is Bulgaria, Croatia, Romania, Slovenia, and Italy. And as I mentioned, uh, Madam Mogherini, High Representative of the EU for Foreign and Security Policy. When inviting so many people, we were guided by the topics that we wanted to discuss, namely security, EU enlargement, uh, and problems related to reconciliation and cooperation at the regional level. The challenges that uh, Europe is facing are exactly the same challenges that uh, the Balkans and the CEE region is facing. Uh, by saying challenges, I mean illegal migration, radicalization, terrorism, organized crime, and hybrid threats. Such threats uh, are not limited by any borders, and they are common to all of us in Europe. We think that uh, the countries of the Central and Eastern Europe, as well as uh, Southern Europe, should also cooperate uh, in the sphere of economy, in particular when building uh, transport and energy infrastructure. This should be something that connects our countries. Energy security, in particular diversification of uh, gas supplies, is a key challenge for the development of our economies. Both Poland and V4 are supporting uh, these efforts of uh, the states of the Western Balkans related to EU's membership. The process of European integration is contributing to fostering security and development within the whole continent. That's why we are sharing our Polish experience with the states of the Western Balkans. So we are sharing our experience from the period of the transformation, the accession both to the EU and NATO. We are sharing our know-how. We are sharing information on how to use EU funds. This was one of the elements that helped us to develop. Another important topic for the next session that will start soon will be reconciliation. This is a topic for our working lunch, and during this session, I will be focusing on the Polish-German reconciliation. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Polish-German Treaty on Good Neighborhood and Friendly Cooperation, and I will be sharing our experiences with the countries from the Western Balkans. Once again, thank you very much for coming here.